Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus said, You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one lights a lamp to put it under a bucket, but on a lampstand, where it gives light for everyone in the house. And you, like the lamp, must shed light among your fellow men, so that they may see the good you do, and give glory to your Father in heaven. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have poured upon us the new light of your incarnate word. Grant that this light enkindled in our hearts may shine forth in our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to, and to be, be glorified, glorified through, through all the worlds. worlds. The Promised Land. Our reading is from Deuteronomy 11. You shall love the Lord your God, therefore, and keep his charge, his decrees, his ordinances, and his commandments always. Remember today that it was not your children who have not known or seen the discipline of the Lord your God, but it is you who must acknowledge his greatness, his mighty hand, and his outstretched arm, his signs and his deeds that he did in Egypt to Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and to all his land. What he did to the Egyptian army, to their horses and chariots, how he made the water of the Red Sea flow over them as they pursued you, so that the Lord has destroyed them to this day. What he did to you in the wilderness until you came to this place, and what he did to Dathan and Abiram, sons of Eliab, son of Reuben, how in the midst of all Israel, the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up along with their households, their tents, and every living being in their company. For it is your own eyes that have seen every great deed that the Lord did. Keep then this entire commandment that I am commanding you today, so that you may have strength to go in and occupy the land that you are crossing over to occupy and so that you may live long in the land that the Lord swore to your ancestors to give them and to their descendants a land flowing with milk and honey. For the land that you are about to enter to occupy is not like the land of Egypt from which you have come, where you sow your seed and irrigate by foot like a vegetable garden. But the land that you are crossing over to occupy is a land of hills and valleys watered by rain from the sky, a land that the Lord your God looks after. The eyes of the Lord your God are always on it from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I am commanding you today and the curse, if you do not obey the com commandments of the Lord your God, but turn from the way that I am commanding you today to follow other gods that you have not known.
and we look to Psalm 36. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your judgments are like the great deep. You save humans and animals alike, O Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. All people may take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house and you give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. O oh, continue your steadfast love to those who know you and your salvation to the upright of heart. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, the source of all life, giver of all blessing and saviour of all who turn to you, have mercy upon this nation. Deliver us from falsehood, malice and disobedience. Turn our feet into your paths and grant that we may serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Acceptable Time, a reading from Psychologists. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against him, and entrusting the message of reconciliation to us. So we are ambassadors for Christ. Since God is making his appeal through us, we entreat you on behalf of Christ to be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. As we work together with him, we urge you also not to accept the grace of God in vain. For he says, in unacceptable time, I have listened to you. And on this day of salvation, I have helped you. See, now is the acceptable time. See, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. A reading from Psalm 63. O oh God, you are my God. Eagerly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh Thanks for you, as in a barren and dry land where there is no water. Therefore, I have gazed upon you in your holy place, that I might behold your power and your glory. For your loving kindness is better than life itself. My lips shall give you praise. So I will bless you as long as I live. And lift up my hands in your name. My soul is content as with marrow and fatness. And my mouth praises you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the night watches, for you have been my helper and under the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. The word of the Lord.
Most gracious and merciful God, you have reconciled us to yourself through Jesus Christ, our Son, and called us to new life in him. Grant that we who begin this year in his name may complete it to his honor and glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. new heavens and a new earth. I have a reading from Revelation 21. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples. And God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who was created, on, who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to, to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the polluted, the murderers, the fornicators, the sorcerers, the adulterers, and all liars, their place will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur which is the second death. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls full of the seven last plagues came and said to me, come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the lamb. And in the spirit, he carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It has the glory of God and a radiance like a very rare jewel, like jasper, clear as crystal. It has a great high wall with 12 gates, and at the gates, 12 angels. And on the gates are inscribed the names of the 12 tribes of the Israelites. On the east, three gates. On the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. And on the west, three gates. And the wall of the city has 12 foundations, and on them are the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God is its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. The Canticle 19, the Song of the Redeemed. 
O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, through your well-beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the King of kings and Lord of lords, you have willed to make all things new. Grant that we may be renewed by your Holy Spirit and may come at last to that heavenly country where your people hunger and thirst no more and the tears are wiped away from every eye. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, according to Luke. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise the child, and he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The word of the Lord. This is the traditional service called Watch Night. It, can, it takes place on New Year's Eve in many places around the world. Just a time to reflect on the year that has passed and the year that is coming. To reflect on the scriptures that give us hope and joy and promise. This is a night around the world when we're ending 2020 and all the difficulties and craziness of this year, and we look forward to 2021. Final night of the year does leave us reflecting on events of the past as we look ahead to the future. This is a night in this service when we might reconsider our devotion, 
to a new covenant with God, a new commitment to our Christian witness and service. Not to dwell on the past, but to move forward, to be part of the change that comes in the new year. The following poem was written by Minnie Louise Haskins and was quoted by King George in his 1939 Christmas Day broadcast to the British Empire. These words live on inscribed at the entrance of George's Memorial Chapel in Windsor and in a window at the Queen's Chapel of the Savoy. The poem was read at the funeral of Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, in 2002. It is called The Gate of the Year. And I said to the man who stood at the gate of the year, give me a light that I may tread safely into the unknown. And he replied, go out into the darkness and put your hand into the hand of God. That shall be to you better than light and safer than a known way. So I went forth and finding the hand of God, trod gladly into the night. And he led me towards the hills and the breaking of the day in the lone east. O oh, heart, be still. May our hearts be still as we move forward too. And may God be with us and bless us in this new year. We will say together the Te Deum Laudamus. This is on page 95. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, Cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to everlasting, to glory everlasting.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is right to... <laughs> It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, because thou didst give Jesus Christ, thine only Son, to be born for us, who by the mighty power of the Holy Ghost was made very man of the substance of the Virgin Mary, his mother, that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become thy children. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are, are full of thy glory. Glory, glory be, be to thee, thee O Lord, Lord most high. high. All glory be to thee, O Lord our God for that thou didst create heaven and earth, and didst make us in thine own image. And of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to take our nature upon him, and to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption. He made there a full and perfect sacrifice for the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel, command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks to thee, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we thy people do celebrate and make with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion, and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again with power and great glory. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and with thy word and Holy Spirit, to bless and sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may be unto us the body and blood of thy dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, whereby we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and bodies. Grant, we beseech thee, that all who partake of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and also that we and all thy whole church may be made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him, through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy the kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us, give us this day our, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. For, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Do not presume to come to this, thy table, O merciful Lord. 
trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear son Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Jesus, you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. We love you above all things and long for you in our souls. Since we cannot be here to receive you in these sacraments, come spiritually into our hearts. Cleanse and strengthen us with your grace, Lord Jesus, and let us never be separated from you. May we live in you and you in us in this life and in the life to come. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living ever God, God, we most, most heartily thank, thank thee for that thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food, food of the most precious, precious body and blood of thy Christ Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favour and goodness and towards God. us, and that we are very members incorporate in the mystical body of thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom. kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist Bless us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and, and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Eternal Father, you gave to your incarnate Son the holy name of Jesus to be the sign of our salvation. Plant in every heart, we pray, the love of him who is the Savior of the world, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Go from this place, not into darkness, although it's night, Go into the light of God's eternal, inspiring love. Go to be those who bring peace, love, hope, and joy. And God will always be with you. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. <laughs>